Hey there. Okay, so this video is a bit of a, uh, uh, I don't know, sort of a request for uh, this machine here. This is an IBM 1255 micro machine. Basically, it is a check reader. You know, bank checks, those things. They're almost gone now, but back, uh, back in the day, actually even just 10 years ago, they were extremely common. Now, of course, they're being replaced by uh, electronics means, PayPal and all that, but hey, for a long time, computers had to deal with checks. And uh, this machine basically reads those funny numbers off the bottom. Micro Magnetic Ink Character Recognition. It was sort of like OCR, but, well, use magnetism. Anyway, this machine here is probably destined to go on loan, long-term loan, to a museum group, uh, which I'm involved with. I'll get into who it is later when the deal is finalized. Um, we're going to restore it and get it working. So here's just a quick overview of it. Yeah, you'll have to excuse the... Uh, this is a bit of the inner sanctum here. So let's walk around. Pardon all the stuff. Anyway, here we go. Basic condition of the machine is pretty good. They jammed the cord in there, which is a little annoying. That'll have to get worked out. Now you're wondering, where are the buttons? Well, the buttons and switches are in here. I took them out when I was transporting these things. Here's a tip for all you guys that do uh, IBM stuff that use these uh, rectangular uh, rectangular buttons. They fall out. If you're not careful, the vibration of being in a truck or a van or trailer or whatever, yeah, they'll walk out and <laughs> you'll lose them. So always take them out and uh, put them in a box. You can always put them in later. They're, they're easy to come by or easy to snap right in. And uh, the knob there, I think the knob actually split, which was a real common problem with those IBM knobs. Uh, yeah, basically, I just need to, to re-glue it, snap it back on. Anyway, you can see there, there's the input bin, six output bins. You can do all sorts of weird uh, sorts and things like this. Sort field account number, transit routing, serial number, process control amount, and off. I don't know what all those do. But, like I said, this thing is a candidate for restoration. So let's take a look inside. There's actually not much to see on, on this side. Yeah, there's a little bit of corrosion in there. There are the power supplies, I assume. Looks like it might be missing a relay there. It looks like a standard IBM style relay, though. I haven't actually done any sort of work on this machine at all. I actually bought this on eBay. It was, a six, it was about, I don't know, four or five years ago. Popped up on eBay down in Georgia at a surplus place, e, uh, like an e-recycler. $600, buy it now. So I decided, you know what? Bang, done. Because where, where are you going to find, well, cripes, where are you going to find any, uh, um, you know, mid-60s era IBM stuff anymore. Uh, hey, you know, most of the stuff went to scrap. Anyway, I'm going to try and swing this thing around, so stand by. Okay, so here's the back of it. Also in pretty good shape. Let's open it up. Ooh, a control panel. So what we see here is, uh, looks like a bunch of control panels and testing things and and the big gate, which there's actually a lot going on in this machine. Looks like we have, what, six probably fairly full uh, things of, uh, this, this is an SLT machine. Yeah, this is, this is 1965, 66 or something like that. So yeah, there's a lot going on in here. Here are the panels. Not sure how well. Oh, okay, I see this. That's just haha. <laughs> uh, over engineered as usual. Little swing out panels just for the uh, 
swing out gates just for this little panel here. And assume the other other way. Now the question is, getting this thing running, what interface does it use? So let's let's find out. Oh heavy. Oh yeah, that's right, this thing has a somewhat annoying little Ooh. Okay, I'm going to have to pause this again. Hold on. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a fight. There's a little uh, latch in there. So here's the side. See all the inside, I should say. You can see all the uh, belts and pulleys and things back there behind that plastic and then the gate here. That's the interface. Now, it sort of looks like bus and tag and sort of doesn't. I don't know what that is. Um, now, uh, one of the interesting things is, in some of this documentation, I actually do have, I think, the, the actual print sets and such like that somewhere. But these are just some, um, some of the uh, ECs, the engineering change papers, that were put in here. One thing I did notice, see if I find it. Pardon my hands here. Yes, pardon, 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 as I shuffle through the papers here. Right here. It looks like this machine may have this serial I.O. Uh, adapter, and it looks like for System 3. So this is interesting. Uh, these were um, put onto a lot of different machines, originally the, the System 360s. Um, this one appears to have been uh, made for a System 3. Now later they were even put on um, uh, System 34s as well. But this one looks like an S3 machine. So that's kind of interesting. I'm I'm gonna guess simply because it's all outlined on this uh, on this EC paper. So that's gonna need some more exploring. So is that thing bus and tag? Is is it not doing anything anymore? Because it uses that's an awful lot of pins for a serial port. Um, yeah, this is gonna need a little bit more. Uh, well, exploration to find out how to make this thing go. Because what we'd like to do is actually get this thing sorting checks. No, we don't have a processor to hook this onto. Uh, so, yeah, we, we want to kind of fake it. And so we can put some old checks in there and have it sort things and read things and show that, hey, this thing works. So I'll have to dig up the rest of the paperwork. I don't know where that is right now because I, once again, I'm in the middle of moving all my stuff. Um, just have to find out. But in any case, here it is. This is the 1255. It's actually not in bad shape. Good old mid 60s construction. Like I said, originally for the System 360. But it was a, a fairly a pretty good product and um, lasted quite a long time. Replaced by the, I want to say, 3890. Okay, well, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. And yeah, all you people that uh, may be involved with this project, hey, you should subscribe to my channel. Maybe look at the other videos, too. And hey, give a like, too. And uh, hopefully we can get this thing up and running. Okay, see you guys later.